Hi, this is Tiffany from Tuxera. We're here at TU Automotive Detroit 2018, and we're here to interview some industry experts about data in context of autonomous cars. Um, how many different storages are in a car rolling off the lines today? Well, there's all different types of storage. And from a microprocessor perspective, some are in the ship, some are external in the ship. And when you think about how in 2016 we actually shipped over a billion processors, so you're looking at at least a billion instances of storage in 2016. Okay, and what do you think about in 10 years from now? I think you might see that reduce a little bit. The amount of memory might not reduce, but uh, how discreet it is, how many locations that it might reduce, because I think you will see a trend, it's hard to say how much, but a trend of a lot of the electronics that are dispersed throughout the car, like distributed architectures, we'll see them become centralized a little bit to offer some maybe cost benefits, some ease of engineering. How many different storages are in cars rolling off the lines today? Okay. Um, yeah, today, today we're still kind of uh, still uh, leaning on uh, designs that started three years ago, four years ago. Uh, so in most of the cases, most cars today have one storage device, mainly for the infotainment and maps. Although there are some uh, cars already out there today with um, up to three storage devices. Um, some of the emerging technologies that are already deployed are obviously over-the-air gateways uh, for firmware updates that have storage. Um, some uh, digital cluster uh, applications have today storage uh, separate from the infotainment system. Uh, however, into the future, uh, we're already now working on designs with cars that have five storage devices inside them. So that's going and expanding as we uh, move along. So, what about 10 years from now? Is there going to be only a few? Storage? I think it's going to be very. Um, Still, even 10 years from now, I think we're, we're going to see all sorts of types of vehicles. Um, at a high level, we're going to have uh, fleet vehicles, which have, we're going to have a certain architecture of storage. Uh, we're going to have still consumer high-end and, and mid-range cars with uh, different uh, architectures. And we're going to have some full autonomous cars. Um, in between these three segments, I would say, um, some are going to take a, a centralized storage approach uh, with uh, virtualization and hypervisors um, but some are still going to have these subsystems uh, with different storage devices. We may see these devices being shared in some form or shape uh, but still separate devices per subsystem. What are the biggest challenges in storing all the data in self-driving cars? Technical challenges? Yeah, um, I don't know about self-driving yet. I think it's it's pretty far out. Uh, so, but in between now and full self-driving, um, the biggest challenge is, is obviously forecasting or foreseeing the future. Um, there's still a lot of work to be done to determine what is the use case, how how is data being used in the car, uh, how is data being used between the car and the cloud, uh, with all the connectivity and, and uh, the data monetization that is going on. Um, so identifying the use case, really understanding how it works is, is our biggest challenge. Okay. Uh, but then the other challenges that we have are obviously uh, around the environment. The vehicle is uh, obviously operating under a wide range of temperatures. It's a moving device. Um, so between the mechanics and the temperature, that's probably our biggest challenge is how do we build devices that operate uh, in these conditions? And then how do we build devices that keep the data in shape for a long time under these conditions. Those are probably the biggest challenges in, in the automotive space. Okay. Uh, what are the biggest technical challenges in recording and storing all of this data that's coming from the connected cars? I mean, that's an interesting question. I mean, there are certainly a lot of those challenges. To me, the fact that we're getting more data and more complex data all the time uh, makes us really analyze what database technologies, what storage technologies we're using, how do we relate the data, how, but how do we do that in a way that we still anonymize and abstract and protect the data so that we are certainly mindful of the customer's rights and compliant with regulatory requirements such as GDPR, which is now an official requirement in the European Union. I think those are the biggest challenges we have these days. 
what's the biggest challenge in securing all this data for connected um, I think that it's the it's the unknown, protecting against the unknown, because from our perspective, you must have visibility into any type of security-related event that's happening in the vehicle. And this is certainly something that we're pushing the OEMs and working with the industry to get more information out. Um, and, and I think that moving forward, you would definitely need to be more aware of what types of data are coming out of the car and how you keep them protected.